Hey guys, um, welcome back to, or welcome to a new episode of um, Minecraft, and today we're going to be doing something different. I've been playing on the Monkey Mind server for over about six months now. It's great, I love having sort of that multiplayer experience, but at the same time, I want to do something by myself. Um, I don't want to do a Let's Play series, but I definitely want to do something different. Now, let's do something single player, and we're going to create a new world, and we're going to make this world a hardcore world oops I meant to keep typing in here um, and it's gonna be sins oops hardcore <laughs> sins hardcore survival since survival but since hardcore survival survival there we go and 1.7 uh, it's gonna be hardcore we're going to here and we're going to put the seed in. So this is a survival island seed. So it's 1.7.4, I think it definitely works on because that's what I'm currently playing in. And you might have seen it at the start. Uh, I'm going to have generate structures on, default world type, allow cheats off and bonus chests off. Um, if you wanted to pause now, that's seed. Um, I'll also put it in the uh, description below. Um, so let's play here. It is a survival island. I have had a look at it in the pictures. I haven't played it. God, I really hope I live. Ooh, okay. So we're going to see here we have a nice big cave. Um, what's over here? Another little cave. Pretty cool. The sun's just coming up. We might break some little, um, some of these. Hopefully some seeds. Ooh, some seeds. Yeah. Ooh, more seeds. Yeah. <laughs> so the one thing about survive, playing survival um, or a survival island is pretty much you have no food. You have nothing. You need to find a tree and you need to find pretty much anything else. Now we're playing hardcore, so it means we're playing hard. So therefore pretty much a lot of things will kill you. Kill you. They do a lot more damage. Withering effects, those sort of things will last a lot longer and really... It just makes the game a lot harder, which is sort of implied by the title, right? Um, there we go, it's nine of them. We have a tree! Yeah, tree! <laughs> um, so we can have a super awesome fun, and we got a sapling straight off the bat now. I don't know if you guys know this, but pretty much in a hardcore survival map where you have a tree, you need at least a sapling to continue, because if you don't have a sapling, you're going to have a bad time. I don't know if you guys seen that South Park episode where they go to, um, I think it's Aspen. Um, <laughs> yeah, and pretty much they have a, they have, the ski instructor's telling him what they should do and he says, if they don't if they do not do what he says, then they're going to have a bad time. Yeah. Wow, I'm amazing at telling stories. I should do this for a living. No. <laughs> I should stick to my day job, which is working at a pub, which is where I've just come from. Um, so if I seem a bit down or tired or anything like that I apologize but I'll definitely be a bit more lively as it goes on now I should probably plant this so let's go plant this um, let's find it mm, there <laughs> not that it really matters it's as long as it's been in the Sun hopefully it will, it will grow uh, as you can see I've got 18 seeds so actually before we go any further I'm gonna make that my home I think it's very dark but I have plans I have plans um, I'm gonna keep one I'm gonna make the three Obviously, you need a crafting table to do anything in this game. Um, so, very important is you have a crafting table. We can do that. Now, I need sticks. And I'm going to make a pick. Now, I do want to make a hoe, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to conserve, hopefully conserve, some of my resources by using this, like so and building myself um, something out of stone because at the moment wood is very precious to me and I need a lot of wood and I don't have much wood um, it's unlike every other thing every other game where you can live every other sorry not game every other world where you can just run off and you know if you walk in about you know for a hundred hundred blocks you will see some wood most likely right I'm in the middle of an ocean I will not see wood is there wood over there I'm not going to guess, so, is there wood over here? There's reeds, you know. Actually, let's go down here and see if we get another sapling. Saplings is like, oh, two saplings, yeah! And an apple, oh my goodness, look how many saplings we got. 
Whoa! <laughs> um, I think we've just hit the jackpot. I think this is going to be a good, good map. So I'm going to pretty much make this map until I die. Uh, make this map. I'm going to make this this series until I die. Um, and I may start off and do another one. Um, I'd be I'd welcome suggestions on what I can do what I can do uh, in this in this uh, series, such as ooh, not fall in the water, such as challenges or things I should be doing. Obviously, I will want to fight a wither at one stage. I probably won't do it straight away because, well, you know, if I die, <laughs> I will probably die against a wither at least at the moment without armor, without anything. Everyone knows it's going to happen, right? I know it's going to happen. You guys know it's going to happen. Now. It would be funny to watch, but at the same time, I do want to accomplish a few things before I die um, in this game, at least. Um, I'll put one there, one there. Excellent. And I did not bring a hoe. That is unfortunate for me because I am silly. Now, one thing I definitely will want to do at one stage is put stairs in because stairs will allow me to go up and down without having to... Oh, my God, we got that tree growing so fast. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't think you guys know how exciting this is. A tree growing in, like, instant, pretty much, is like, I don't know. We This means we can have light. We can actually have a torch. <laughs> um, that's why I was saving that one block, is so I could burn it in a furnace to make charcoal. Um, but we're looking to... Oh, there is one right there, too. I want it. I want it. I don't care if I'm decreasing the spawn chance of something something i want it i want it so bad um as long as i get at least one to replace the one that i lost uh that's the important thing and there's none i think there's none down here and there should be at least one maybe another apple that spawns off this so that'd be pretty cool apples have a one in bleh, chance of, of spawning i don't actually know the percentage i'm just having a guess um and my guess is probably wrong anyway. Uh, but there is a chance that apples draw drop off. I think it's only I think it's specific to oak trees, but in um, in biomes such as swamps, I think the chance is higher. I think a lot of the guys in UHC mode will want to find a swamp, or if they they spawn in a swamp, they're off to a wonderful advantage to start. Now, um, obviously, I for this for this uh, map or for this for this series no strip mining I'm gonna put that rule on me to begin with so no strip mining everything um, you know no cheating which you saw I can't write commands in so that's a good thing um, now I'm trying to decide if I want to leave the island or not now I might leave this up to you guys because I'm not gonna be leaving the, this island for the moment now the, my question would be is if I go to that island, is that leaving the island? Or if I go to that island, is that leaving the island? Um, if it is leaving the island, I think I will want to... Ooh, another... What? That was weird. It must be having some weird fall mechanics off the top of this thing. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Um, if that's if that is leaving the island, um, can I, I think, I think as long as I dig underground somewhere, maybe I can do that or I go to the nether. Um, I don't know. I think because those present their own challenges. Um, I think what I'm going to, I think I'm going to postulate the rule that if I can see the island from spawn, I can go there no matter how big it is. I don't know how big they are, but from the look of this here, you can probably see it probably tapers off towards the end and that's pretty cool. And where is it? It's not even night time yet. Wow, and we're doing pretty well. We've got a little bit of hunger, which is um, a bit of a poopy face. <laughs> um, but that's all right. So as we can see up here, we are down here, up here, down here. The soil is getting hydrated. Hydrated soil grows food faster. Very important. That's why I put it closer to the water. Um, I don't have any iron, so I can't make iron buckets. So therefore, I can't put it in a spot that's nice and safe. Um, I also don't have any light to light it up. <laughs> um, but. The important thing here is that it's growing. You can see some of these are going to the second stage. Um, I think there are three or four stages to um, to this sort of stuff before it grows to its full size. Now, let's do that. Oh, and we got another tree before it even went to night time. Now, guys, I don't know if you have ever played a survival seed um, or done anything like this, but 
this is like winning the lotto <laughs> we've had two trees grow we did have a lot of saplings i will grant you that that there is a lot more chances so let's say we have four or five saplings that's four times a chance that we'll get a tick that allows us to grow a tree um, but not only does it allow us to grow a tree it allows us to get more saplings and those more sap those more saplings <laughs> those additional saplings have a greater chance so i think we are fairly set for the moment for wood um i might do that I might do that and then I might do that so there we go I've got that and I think it's time to make something to protect ourselves with yeah and it's time to make something that will protect us also allow us to dig faster yeah um, and what else do can we, can we get I'm just gonna move that to the to the spot that I normally have it in when I play games or play Minecraft um, let's make a shovel that's not what I want to make. Let's make a axe first, apparently, uh, and then let's make a shovel. I think that'll keep us fairly well um, stocked. Um, do we get another sapling from over here? Very important, especially early on in the game, to double check. Like now that we've got this many saplings, um, I think we're alright. But especially if you were playing and you only got one or two saplings, you should probably be going out there the whole time it's spawning and I know I'm doing this quickly but I want to go underground and I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go down and mine some um oh it's about to go night time okay so let's take this with us um I'm going down underground and I think if we can we should make some wonderful wonderful things like um <laughs> like a, a a wall or a door um and also something like uh What's that thing called? A furnace, that way. <laughs> there we go. So I can make some charcoal. So that's one thing that makes survival actually possible. And I know this is dark, guys. I apologize. Let me just grab some stuff and we'll make some um and we'll make something that we can actually see with. There we go. Um I'm gonna put a wall there actually if I can. So let's put this down I can hear mobs now I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but it's definitely good so hopefully this is a bit lighter for you guys and it will continue to be a little bit lighter for you guys come on oops I'm really worried now that I'm taking too long to do this now let's say four I'm gonna give it six planks that should be enough to make enough uh, as for the walls, so let's put the things that won't fall too far down here. Um, and then we've got some stuff like that. So And there we go. So pretty much I had a perfect amount of blocks here to, to make something. So this here is a little doorway. Uh, and we can also make a... Um, we have two spots here, but the reason we made them one wide is so spiders can't get into them. Um, oh my god, charcoal. Uh, that is amazing. Uh, I have nothing else to burn, so oh, could I put that in? No, nah, it's too late. Is it one or is it two per three? Let's try that. Let's maybe put some glass in our wall here so that way we can see out. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm pretty smart, I know. I know I'm opening this up, but nothing can really spawn within a 24 block radius of where we are. So we are actually pretty safe. Uh, as I say this, um, it'd be funny as if, as if, as if I say this, when I said this, we got killed, but I don't think we'd get killed this far in. And wow, that gets really dark when you have nothing. Um, the first things first, uh, let's make another few sticks. There we got so much wood. I think we're, we're well beyond the, uh, the limits of this game. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'll put one there and one here. So if we have a quick look around, seven. Hmm. If I move that one to there, that gives me an eight in that corner. That's fine, and that gives me an aid in that corner. Now, the reason I did that is because in an area, like, sorry, in a house, if you have some a spot that's below seven, I'm gonna eat this apple because I'm below two uh, two bars. Um, 
And if you're below seven uh, of light level, so if you have a quick look on the left there, it says BL, background light. So it's the second line from the bottom. BL's background light is seven. Sunlight is one. So essentially we can't see the sunlight and also the sun is down. So it doesn't matter for us at the moment. And the real light um, is 12. So it's the higher of the two. I'm going to get rid of that now. If it's seven or below, it means a hostile mob can spawn. So that's dangerous for us. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly dig down and see if we can find more coal or find uh, iron. That would be great. Um, and I don't think it's too cheating. I'm just going to have a quick look. Excellent. As it gets darker, I might start putting some torches down. One, because I want you guys to be able to see, and you guys probably want to be able to see... Um, Oh, is that iron straight away? No way. This has been like the best seed ever. I don't know about you guys, but I've played survival seeds before and I've never been this lucky. It must be it must be the uh, the YouTube part that's making this so lucky. Um, well, we made it down here. Let's see if we can go off across the side. I know I said no strip mining. I'm not really strip mining. I'm just looking for this cave. Wink, wink. No, um, I'm just having a quick look around, see what I can find, gather some resources. Um, I think to me, to me, strip mining is when you go to, you know, between Y0 and Y6, oh, sorry, not Y0, Y1 and Y16, and you just look for diamonds, and that's no fun for one, for you guys to watch, and two, for me to to really do I sh you know caving is a bit more fun it's a bit more dangerous and that's the and that's the point I think and I don't know why I covered this up because I want to go this way I was hoping that I could find something or someone well not someone actually just something um, I think it's that that cave we we're talking about is off to my left I'm gonna move that one back in um, yeah we tried we got six cannon six uh, iron, that's pretty cool. Um, is it day night time start there? I guess we could have a quick look outside and see what baddies await us out there. Um, don't really want to take. Ow, 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 ow. I didn't even see that drop. drop. I don't know about you guys, but I did not see that. Um, spiders are good when they drop. Um, when they drop um, cobwebs, because cobwebs allow you to um, four cobwebs, cobwebs in a square pattern make a um, oh, what is that thing called? <laughs> make wool, and then there we go. And then that wool um, you can create you know three wool to make a bed, and therefore sleep through the night. So um, very cool things there. And at the moment there's nothing out there, so let's go back home. Uh, and the good thing about having a home like this is that literally you can come back in, close your door. Um, the only thing you can get through are baby baby zombie villages, baby zombie villages, yep, and baby zombies as well as um, cave spiders, I think. So it's probably a good idea now that I think about it uh, is to seal it up. Let's have a quick look over here, see if we can find uh, that, villi that village, that village, that cave we can hear to our... Okay, so we found a cave. We actually found more than a cave. We found a ravine. We found a ravine literally underneath our um, our house. There's some zombies over there. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I'm I want to get down here protected enough so that if um, Come here. Oh, nope. Oh, nope. 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 I took damage. I took damage. I'm not happy about that. That is really annoying. <laughs> uh, I will have to go down there at some stage. Uh, let's see if we can make. I want that. I really want that iron too. I'm thinking about maybe doing the cheap way and digging around to it. Um, Uh, well, he's gone. Wow, there are two over there. Yeah, that's right. Come to me, buddy. Oh, he can't get up, can he? Oh, God. I, that's, no, that's too much damage. I can't, I can't. This early in the game, I cannot lose that many hearts straight away. 
Oh, there's some poor decisions right there by me. Um, poor decisions by Sin. Let's see. Um, nothing above us. I think I should... Um, oh, the sun's coming up. Thank goodness. There's a creeper down there. I know I'm sprinting. I shouldn't be sprinting. Because I should be uh, saving my run for needed activities, such as killing that creeper. Did that creeper despawn, really? Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't trust him. Um, I'm having a quick look around for animals or zombies or whatever. Um, <clears throat> hopefully to uh, allow us to have a bit of a go. Now, he hasn't been following me around, has he? I am really terrified of this, of that creeper. No food. Hmm. I would have loved to have killed a skeleton or something similar. Um, just so I could have some food um, but it doesn't look like I'm going to and as the sun's coming up I think that's the perfect time to stop this episode I'm just going to have a quick look for this creeper there he is he didn't disappear I'm going to kill this creeper hopefully not die and um, and I think that's going to be the end of the episode no come on Come at me, bro. There you go. Good boy. Just die. Just die. Can I get that, do you think, without drowning? Not worth it. That was not worth it. That was not worth it. I shouldn't be taking silly damage if I don't have to. I probably wouldn't have have wouldn't have had to take so much damage there, but, you know. I'm already down four hearts. Oh. Because I was toying with fire. You guys are probably yelling at your screen like, What are you doing? Don't go down there. But like I said, I'd like to do some challenges in this game, uh, in this match, so please, please, please chuck them in the comments below and tell me what you uh, what you want to see. I'm happy to oblige. Um, I'll be coming back uh, next episode, obviously, and we'll, uh, we'll continue from where we are. We'll block ourselves in here, and here we go. <laughs> we are highly advanced with a stone furnace and a crafting bench. We have found a ravine, which is very dark and scary, as well as we have dug down here and found nothing. See so yeah, you guys, as always, uh, this is Sin. Um, have a good day. Sin out.